Yesterday I was working on something and I needed a positive stop on my mill in the y-axis. Well, the x-axis, I have these things right here. One and two, one on each end. And I can stop that table from moving in the x-direction uh, at any point. Whereas the y-axis, there's nothing. So I had a thought, perhaps I could use an indicator and uh, put the magnetic base on here. So I was trying to attach this outfit here you know, over onto this. I'm going to take this part off here just to make it a little easier to get things in to show you what I tried to do. I put it on here and locked it and it, it wobbles like crazy. There's just nothing flat here that's going to keep it steady. So that was out of the question. Well, I decided to attach this two inch wide piece of steel to the workbench. And I can then put the magnetic chunk on here. And it's nice and flat and it should stay put. But I'm going to need some modifications to that uh, magnetic base. I have taken all of the, the top part of this off. This is an 8 millimeter thread. So I'm going to use a piece of 5 8 square stock to put in here. And I've got that on the lathe right now. We're going to put a 5 8 hole or 5 8 threaded hole in the square stock and attach it to here and have it about this, the right height that I'm going to need to attach this indicator with this type of back on it. I'm using one of these split round pieces to put the stock in a three-jaw chuck. It's the quickest way to do it. And I'm just facing it off so we have a nice and square end. And I'm going to do that on both ends. And in one end we're going to tap that to eight millimeter hole. Well, here's our part with the set screw in, and I put a washer on there. The set screw was a, a little bit long, and uh, I wanted to bottom out to make sure it was really tight in here. And with the washer on, hopefully we're going to come pretty close to where this is square to the block. It's getting tight right now, and just a little bit more, and we're square to that block, which will be what I want. Now we're going to have to drill a hole in the top section here to accommodate this hole here. All right, we're all set up to drill a hole for a quarter 20 tap through here. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and center drill that first. I've got the indicator attached to it. I just put it over here where it's going to go. Of course, this piece of metal underneath I haven't attached to the workbench yet. I have to decide how I want to do that. But we'll wind in, and as soon as we get to uh, to where we need to be here, we should see that indicator moving. And that looks pretty good. That's what I'm looking for. We're just going to try this out here to see if it works in the other direction. And it's working and that indicator is not, the magnet's not even on. So I don't think I'm going to bother attaching this uh, metal piece 
to the workbench, it seems to be heavy enough that it's not going anywhere. 